Okay, we're going to show you the typical Itronic satellite installation. And uh, this is a E-Class. Uh, all cars are going to be somewhat similar. And um, we're going to show you how it works. Uh, we first, by just taking loose the uh, carpet liner on the left-hand side of the trunk, this is where the nav drive is in this car behind this panel, we're going to take out, unscrew this and this. And there's a plastic rivet right here and a plastic rivet right here, and then this whole carpet panel will just uh, come loose quite easily. So I'm going to begin by taking those out, and then uh, we'll show you the rest. Okay, the plastic rivets in a Mercedes are quite simple. You just take a flat bladed screwdriver and put it under the head of it like that, and the head will actually pull loose. And then when it does, the whole rivet comes out. Now you can take the center pin completely out and put it back in if that makes it easier. But that's how plastic rivet, then when you're putting it back in, you just push it back in and push the center pin back in and uh, just use them over and over that way. Okay, we can see now that we've uh, got the carpet liner completely removed. This will make things a lot easier. Simply just remove it from the car. This car had the 12 accessory 12 volt outlet up here that we just unplugged and uh, put the carpet liner to the side. We're going to reach around here behind the nav drive and behind the nav drive is unplug the fiber optic cable. This is where we're going to uh, hook up our fiber for the satellite unit and we're also going to get power uh, from another plug. There we go. Okay, so we've got <clears throat> both the power and the uh, fiber optic cables that we'll be using to hook up the satellite. First thing we're going to do is hook up the fiber optic for the satellite uh, harness. Like all uh, itronic connections, we're going to start by removing the out output side fiber. In a Mercedes Benz at least, the output side fiber is usually the yellow fiber. But you'll always want to double check. We've removed the little center, center blue pin. Always want to check, and you can check by looking at the arrow stamped in the plastic. And in this particular side, actually, the yellow is not. So you always need to check. We're going to release the output side fiber, which in this particular case is the orange side. Lift up on the little plastic tab, just a little bit. Not so much to break it, but just lift it up just a little. And I got it about halfway out. There we go. Okay, we've released that. We're going <clears> to <throat> plug that into our fiber optic harness that came with the uh, Itronic satellite unit. And I'm just verifying. Okay, so we take the output side that we removed and hook it to the output side of the Itronic, which is the little inline connector. Just push it in, snap it closed. Okay, then we're going to take the only remaining fiber, which is in that fiber optic harness, and push it in the factory piece. And then we will insert the little plug that uh, we removed earlier. Keeps it from accidentally falling out. So we've uh, completed the fiber connection. Now we're going to do the power connection. Let's see here. Okay, we've got a power connection right here, and we're going to use the 12 volt and ground connections, which in the Mercedes is never a pink. It's uh, usually a red and white or red and yellow wire, and then the brown. Brown is ground, and we're going to hook our brown to this brown, and the uh, red and, uh, in this case, red and white to our orange wire right here for a positive uh, connection. Don't give it a mic. Okay, now we're simply plugging in the connections. You can see here I've made the power connections to the car's, uh, the navigation's drive power. We're going to plug that back in in a moment. I'm just making the rest of the connections. And I've plugged in the two harnesses to the iTronic. That leaves a cable here. And I'm just doing all this right now for the test connections, just to test my signal and all and such. And we're just plugging all of this in. 
and plug in the two audio cables, or it's actually one audio cable with two connections, and plugging that into the iTronic. And we've basically made all the connections necessary. And I'm pulling the antenna out of the package now. Let's keep recording. I'll edit this out. And you make your antenna connection here. Now, where you place your antenna in the car, uh, you can put it a lot of different places. It's magnetic. It's quite small, you can see. It's very small, and you can either put it uh, in some cars without the metalized film. You can place it here inside the rear deck. You just have to run the wire up inside into the rear deck inside. Now that will work if your rear window does not have the metalized glass. And many classes uh, don't do not. Many classes do not have metalized glass, uh, but the S class definitely does. So if they have an S class, that won't work. You can put it up on the on the rear trunk lid up here. You can also run it up the outer under the rubber seal here and around the glass and put it here right in front of the uh, factory antenna. Okay, in this particular installation, I put the uh, antenna here on the roof, and you can see it's uh, quite unobtrusive. We did this for reception issues in this particular area. And we put it underneath the rubber molding all the way down the back of the uh, back windscreen. Came down inside this rubber molding here, down inside here. Then we actually took the, the uh, tail light loose, just took it loose, put it in through the, the seal of the tail light. And so it comes in right here. This is the uh, antenna connection. And tail light uh, removal is actually a tail light removal is actually quite simple. There's just a uh, few little there's four or five screws here that take it loose. It's it's very very simple just to take it loose. 